Right, today's job, we've got a Maruka MK70 track tractor, and it should have a bush in there, but at the minute there's no bush, the bush is long gone, it should be a square piece of rubber gripping that square piece of shaft in the middle. It's not there, and the machine sat on its ass. So the first job, we've took this first idler unit off, and as you can see, it's just, there's absolutely nothing there, the thing's banging around, it sounds awful. Um, so the first job here is to grind that fillet of weld on that square piece of shaft in the middle of that first unit. Got the new Dewalt grinder on, giving it a good test. And trying not to set myself on fire here by not succeeding in that job. We're nearly there now, I've ground all four sides on both sides of it. And now, hopefully, we're tapping the hammer, it should come out. We tried to get the original bushes, but we weren't having any luck. There was a massive big um, time delay on getting the new square bushes, and they're really expensive, so the customer was desperate for it, as he needed it, as it come wet. so. We come up with this idea to get him up and going, and hopefully the parts will be easy to repair next time. Got the square bar out now, we've ground it all out, and now we're on to cutting the first bush from the old bandsaw. Got the bush in the lathe now, running up 50 mil drill just to rough it out. It's quite fast. Cool and pumps knacking on the lathe, so we're out the old fairy liquid bottle. Got 50 mil all up the middle of it, and it'll open it a bit more with a boring bar so we can get some glacier bushes in there that then the pin will turn on. It'll be a good burring surface. Plenty of grease in there, it'll turn nice. Right, I've got it going up fast an hour at about, I think we're up 350 RPM. Um, makes a better finish if you have it going faster with the carbide insert in the lathe tool and the boring bar. Just, just opening it out now, ready to take the uh, glacier bush. Right, we've had a measure up now, we're going to make some new plates on the plasma cutter. Out of some 12mm, just mild steel. Designed it. And uh, ready to cut it out now. Not had this machine that long, but I wouldn't be without it now. I no means know what I'm... I don't know what I'm doing really, but somehow uh, I managed to just about work it. There I'm just chipping the slag off, you can you can set it so it'll pierce through the metal and then you can chip the slag off the top and then it makes a nice clean cut for the rest of it, otherwise sometimes the slag can just touch the tip of the uh, plasma cutter and you can end up moving the head and then you end up with chamfered sides to your hole and not, not quite a good clean cut so that's quite a handy tool I've learned to use on it We're at some 12mm plate here, I think we're at 65 amps the machine's running at. I think you can do it with 45, but 65 is doing a good job here. Again, they're just chipping it off, ready for the outside cut. I'm still learning how to use this machine. But the more you use it, the better you get on it. It's all cut out now. And it can, I'll just show you the cut quality here, but it's a really, really good finish, that. Tiny, tiny little bit of slag on the underside, but you just chip that off and give it a tickle with a flappy wheel on the grinder. And it's ready to weld straight on. Right, so making a new base plate. This plate will bolt onto the machine uh, using six 16mm holes. Um, we've got four of these plates to do, is this four idler plates. This again, this is 12mm mild steel and I'll, then, I'll weld the pieces that I've cut out of the plasma cutter on each side of this plate um, with the boss that you saw us in the lathe making that'll get welded in between and then this will get bolted onto the machine here we've got four plates now all done with mag drill 16mm cutter for a 16mm hole got the plates all ready now for welding and lining up just give it a little tickle 
just to take the slag off it. But we want them to be a good tap-in fix, so everything's nice and square, we'll weld it, which this is. We've just turned, we've just chamfered the edges with it on the lathe, just so it's to 12 mil, so it'll just sit all square and flush. Be a nice tap on fit. Like a new in that. And also just add the the, the bush the glacier bush, I think I've got a three mil wall thickness. To have a fifty mil pin up the middle. So we just need to tap the bushes in there. But unfortunately I haven't got any footage of that. Um, it's all tacked together here, make sure it's square in the middle, in the centre. Ready for welding up fully. Then we've got two bosses that want welded on the outside. These have got a 50mm inside diameter hole, no bushing them. They're just going to burr directly onto the pin. The pin's made out of some EN24T steel. EN24T, it's, it's a toughened, um, a good quality steel. We use that quite a lot for making shafts and this sort of thing. We've never had any bother with it, so we just continue to use it. So. So what we'll do is we'll just tack it on and then make sure it's all right in the middle of the original square and then weld it up fully. Put the bolt in the end and that'll stop the pin turning and rubbing inside because we want the they want the pin to turn on the bush and not the pin to turn in them bosses that we're welding on. Got the MIG welder now, I'm just gonna blast around the outside of these. welded round the first one and a decent weld that won't win any competitions or anything but it's nice and strong and it won't come off ready for assembly now so we've put the new piece into the original piece that we've made and now that's ready for uh, bolting on the machine see how nice it turns it's all packed full of grease there's a grease nipple on the inside the, uh, the glacier bushes are turning really nicely on that piece of 50mm shaft and it's ready to bolt on the machine and give it a good test. Right, I've got the first couple on this side now, all bolted up and it's nice to see the, uh, the idea that we come up with being brought into life. So here we are, the first time bringing out the shed, just got a block of wood there. You see how they uh, move, follow the contour of the ground. And it's really pleased with that. And then we'll uh, get some footage of it actually in the field, doing the job it's designed to do. Thanks for watching.